and welcome back to Tech Girl Brianna. So I make videos here on Tuesdays here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned on, well, Tuesdays so you can see another video from me. However, today's video is actually going up kind of late because I was too sick to even speak before Tuesday. So yeah, this video is up really late sorry but then uh, I'll also have another video going up in a few days so I hope that's okay anyways please thumbs up and then we can continue on with the video so like the title says should you pursue your degree if you are bad at math well continue watching this video to find out so I will give you a list of things that you should probably know that will help you determine your decision but I just want to give you a spoiler the answer to the question is yes you should pursue a computer science degree even if you are bad the math and here's why so computer science is about using discrete math logics and proofs it's recommended that you have a solid background in each of these three because you will need these to be able to learn the fundamentals of algorithms in the computer programming it's especially crucial if you want to become a software engineer the second thing you should probably know is if you don't like math not necessarily you're bad at it then you're going to have a really hard time studying this degree because it's no secret that you have to take a lot of math classes in order to get your degree. I've been there and I've done that. Well, I didn't finish, but yeah. You know, I actually personally like math, not like love math, but I do like it. And I would say that even though for someone that actually likes math sometimes and enjoys it, I still think it's way too much. And I do not like math this much to the point where I literally want to spend this much time on it, you know? Personally, me, when I was studying, I was getting overwhelmed with the amount of math classes I had to take and how time consuming they were and just how many classes I had to take. I just couldn't believe it. I was thinking, how is it possible that I can get my degree in four years if I had this many math classes to take. Not all math classes were bad for me. I'll say a lot of them actually interested me and I enjoyed learning, but classes such as calculus, I wasn't a huge fan of. I don't know why, it just kind of bored me, if that makes sense. And I felt like I was a pretty slow learner in calculus. I was having a little bit of a hard time with it, but I don't know. But then other types of math classes, such as more statistic related ones, I actually seem to enjoy, especially ones that involve a lot of variables variables, I actually like those ones. The third thing you should know that although yes, it is required to take a lot of math classes to have this degree, it is not required for most careers outside of this degree that you study. Does that make sense? I mean, really, unless you're getting into software engineering, artificial intelligence, or statistics, or uh, uh, cryptography, and I guess 3D graphics, because you do use a lot of discrete math in that field. Personally, me, I don't want to be any of those. Maybe, I guess, software engineer, but a different type of software engineer. Like, I feel like that's the only one I'm somewhat interested in, but I'm not sure if I want that as a career. Like, I definitely am more into the design like web design and front end and well I've I've said in videos before what I enjoy so that's not what this video is about <laughs> so although computer science and math both exercise the same part of the brain they are both taught very differently as you can tell from those of you that have taken a uh, programming class versus a math class yes it's taught very differently but it does use the same part of the brain so that's something you should remember while you're taking the math class is that okay maybe you're not programming but it helps strengthen those muscles that you need to program that's something that one of my math teachers would always say like oh, okay i know these problems bore you but it will help you with some of those engineering classes you have to take but i know for the students that weren't in any engineering or computer science type field were kind of pissed off at my teacher because my teacher would always throw in all these extra math problems that are supposed to help with programmers and yeah I, I remember that and I remember some students are not too happy about that. <laughs> Just remember that a strong math core will actually give you an edge over your peers and will automatically make you higher up with your abilities, skills, and widen your range of usability for a company or project or whatever it is that you want to work on after you graduate. So just keep that in mind. Also, I wouldn't say, personally, I don't believe that math is something that you are just born with knowing. 
I know some people are just geniuses out there and you know with very little knowledge they're able to figure out a lot but personally me I see math as a skill that you have to practice and that anyone can good at can get anyone can get good at so if you feel like maybe you're kind of stupid or you feel like you're bad at math I just wanted to let you know that you need to rethink the way that you actually view math maybe the learning style you're receiving is actually wrong you have to practice practice and practice. I remember when I was in calculus, I spent so much time on just that one calculus class. I thought I was going to shoot my brains out sometimes. I mean, I even failed a math class twice. Like literally, I had to take the same math class three times, mainly because I don't think I was doing the correct learning style. I don't really like the lecture style. I'm definitely more of a hands-on person. I'm more of a visual person. So if someone's just talking to me, I start to daydream and think about other things so I'm not that kind of learner and I think it's actually important that uh, universities change the way that they teach computer science because I think it's completely hands-on in my opinion but I mean who am I to judge I just I mean, I don't even have my degree yet, so. I think as long as you are interested in learning, I think you should just be fine. Just keep your he head held high. Make sure you do whatever you can to just keep going. There are no shortcuts. You have to do the work. Take the time, even if you have to take less classes, even if you have to retake the classes a million times like I had to, it's worth it. And if you still are not a huge fan of math, then these are the minimum math uh, skills that are required. So you need basic school math, you know, up until maybe like, um, I don't know, I guess until you graduate high school. I'm not sure what is the last class because I didn't really go to my last year of high school. I kind of did, but that's, that's a long story. But <laughs> I was kind of taking college classes. So, so I assume that's algebra two or pre-calculus. I think that's just the minimum required. But to be honest, I think you should at least take one class of calculus just as the minimum, you know, or at least some knowledge of calculus because at least some basic basic knowledge of calculus will be useful when, when you need to analyze the complexity of algorithms. And one last thing, make sure you understand discrete math really well. Okay, well, I hope this video helped you. I uh, put a lot of time and research and energy and reaching out to people, asking questions. So like, just please give me a thumbs up if you think I deserved it. If you don't think I deserved it, then tell me why. <laughs> if there's anything I can improve on, just let me know. I make these videos so I can help, but I also do it to help me because I am really looking forward to study again one day. Right now my life is all over the place. I call a million different places home. I don't know where I'm going to be sometimes in six months or a year. So sometimes when I make these videos it gets me excited about learning about just anything tech related, computer science. I want to make more videos rather than just about computer science. I typically get my inspiration from questions I get in my inbox but I would like to talk about other things like you know I, I want to talk about like some of the technology news out there like what uh, new technologies are coming out like that's all just very fascinating to me and I always want to uh, talk about it so if you guys uh, want to give me some topics to talk about let me know because that'll be kind of fun all right make sure you tune back in just a few days for another tech girl Brianna video follow me on Instagram at tech girl Brianna and I will see you next time bye